Warning, this episode contains phallic images. Not like the ones that are sent to me in my DMs, but like artistic ones. Yeah. Hey, I'm Baba and you're watching Conspiracy Series. Baba, pilots have been drawing massive penis shapes in the sky in Christchurch. What? Why? Apparently it's an entry level maneuver for pilots. Is it though? Oh no. Or is making giant penis shapes with your plane just funny? The finest queen from South Auckland. I'm also a bit of a nosy parker, so I'm exploring Aotearoa's most bizarre conspiracies. On today's agenda, are pilots making penis shapes because it's an entry-level manoeuvre? Or because it's just funny? I've always been drawn to dick pics. They're pretty crack-up looking, and I don't know how, they know how to draw one. Everyone does. OK, I like a Picasso. The ratio of vagina to dick pics is way off. I mean, sure, there's a few titty pictures here and there, but it's just not the same. And I'm here to investigate why. In 2018, the Canterbury Air Club caught media attention when two of their aircrafts drew a massive penis shape in their flight plan. A representative for the club said it's simply an entry hold manoeuvre. Wait, I thought it was an entry level manoeuvre. And then we read somewhere else that it was an entry manoeuvre? Is there more to the story? I mean, I'd asked you if you've ever drawn a dick, but I know you have. So I pose this question to you. Why did you draw that dick? You dick. Anthropologists have traced penis iconography back to many historic civilizations, but there is a lot of penis drawing that doesn't seem to be in the name of art. Got some more pictures for the board. Does, uh, does Jamie know we're using all of these? Yeah, yeah, she's on the phone with the broadcaster now. Oh great, you got the reference images? No, no, that's not, um, here, that's spaghetti. Wow, you really did your research. With all this BDE, I think it's time we spread our sea legs. Red as Wellington, cookie. So I'm taking our team to the South Island. <laughs> if no one will come to us, we'll go to them. It's time to bust this nut right open. I think he's leaving now. We travelled to Christchurch and came here to the Canterbury Air Club to chat to someone about what was being reported. But damn, we just missed them. Oh well, off to Wellington. I gotta find me a plane. Our Canterbury trip finished early, and like all quickies, I was feeling unsatisfied. Back in Wellington, Shoko said we had to back it up to the office ASAP. Baba! 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 The pilot's gonna call us soon! Should I go take my bags inside first? No. Just make sure your luggage is stowed away in the overhead compartments or under the seat in front of you. Ah, and keep your seatbelt fastened at all times. Hi, Bubba. The pilot is ready for you now. Hey, pilot! Just wanted to know, have you ever tried that manoeuvre? This is not a manoeuvre that I've tried to make deliberately. Hmm. There have been many times where I've done various turns, straight lines, uh, that have then come out to look like a penis when translated into a flight radar picture. And pilots, they've been getting disciplined for making dick shapes with contrails. Why do you think pilots make these shapes even though they know they're going to get in trouble? Well, I think probably for a lot of pilots it's an ego thing. Other reasons, well, maybe it's just the maturity levels of many pilots thinking, hey, this will be pretty funny when I talk with my mates. What an interesting phone call. Thank you for flying Conspiracy Air. See you soon. Well, in order to fully understand, we've got some experimenting to do. I just need to see how hard it is to do this entry-level manoeuvre, and Ash from Animation is going to show you what I draw. Drone, Matt! Welcome to my plane. Captain speaking, I'm seeing birds in the sky. It's pretty hard. <laughs> 
Look, I've broken it down for you folks at home. I started to wonder if this is why we've struggled to find someone to talk to us. So imagine my surprise when we found a pilot who hit the sweet spot and was one, two, and three. This is Vaughn Davis, who created this shape with his plane to raise awareness for testicular cancer. So tell us about you and the penis. The penis, yeah. We're penis. saying penis, the penis. Yeah. A friend of mine was doing a campaign for the Testicular Cancer Foundation. They wanted uh, people to use their GPS tracking devices to kind of draw pictures of, you know, the expression is cock and balls, mm -hmm. in order to raise awareness for their charity and for their fundraising. But he said, oh, mate, you got an aeroplane, why don't you yes. do it with the aeroplane? So that's what I did. It said on the article, accidentally. Did you first oh, do it accidentally? Yeah, yeah, yeah I will. Vaughn. Yeah, well, I did, I did kind of do it accidentally because I was flying to Wellington. I had to do some manoeuvres to hold outside the airfield. And, uh, you know, my mate, he said, that looks a bit like a... Mm. I said, oh, maybe it does. So he said, can you do one that looks a lot like one? And I said, sure. How did you prepare? Yeah, it needed to be big. Uh, it needed to be, you know, I won't say accurate, but you, you needed to be able to tell what it was, right? Yeah. Uh, and then I used my autopilot and my GPS to, to fly the track, and there it was on mm. radar. What was the hardest part to draw? The hardest part to draw? I don't even know the name of it. I think the name, let's call it the opening yes. at the end. Because I had to, sort of flying the curve, yeah. but then I had to do like a 90 degree turn, come straight in mm -hmm. and almost uh, reverse on the spot to come out and, and make that, that little shape on the end there. So that was the most difficult part, yeah. shall we say. So we've got the entry level hold, and then entry hold, entry level manoeuvre, and manoeuvre. Can you explain the difference between yeah, all well, three? Um, you might have been you know, flying into Auckland and the captain comes on, she says, Hey, sorry, we just have to hold for 10 minutes while we wait for weather or other traffic. And that's a holding pattern. It's kind of a, a racetrack Let's shape. See. And if you imagine a kind of a long racetrack, you know what it almost kind of looks like mm -hmm. as well. The entry maneuver into that hold combined with the racetrack is what could give you that, um, you know, penis or cock and balls picture in the sky. It's literally the maneuver that they do into the entry hole. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel the same way that I started on this journey. And that's them having fun. And you know what? I'm all for fun. Go hard. I am Matt Williams. I teach at the School of Psychology at Massey University and I do research on misinformation and conspiracy theories. So this conspiracy theory is connected to gender roles. Are there any observations between male and females when it comes to believing conspiracies? Yeah, so there's a fair bit of research showing that we as men are a little bit more likely to believe in conspiracy theories than women. Because you do. <laughs> <laughs> um, we made penis shapes. I ran it and the drone followed me making the shape. If you had the chance to, what would you use to make your shape? Yeah, so I think climate change is a really important problem. So I'm going to be using an electric vehicle. He's smart. I'm supporting that. <laughs> With all this travelling, it's time to end our journey and head back to the office. So, what do you think? Is it something they teach the new pilots or is it just the pilots having a bit of fun in the sky? And remember, don't be a dick about it. Baba, look. Our trap made a massive cock. <laughs> yeah, no, that is pretty cracker. Am I a part of the problem? Am I the drama? Am I a pilot? Baba, pilots have been drawing massive penis shapes in the sky in Christchurch. How big? Like this big. That's big? I think that's big. Yum. <laughs> <laughs>